So my name is Nathan Peters, and I'd like to talk to you today about transport support from ChemAdvisor. Now by transport support, we talk about those situations where you need to move a material from one location to another across a regulated space. Um, transport support means putting it on the road, putting it into transport. We can help you comply with those portions dealing with hazardous material regulations, sometimes known as HMR. These are put in place to protect the safety of the workers, of the environment, of the emergency responders in case of an incident, and of the public at large. You may hear some terms uh, when you talk in this sphere, uh, some called hazmat, others called DG or dangerous goods. Um, Hazmat is the primarily the, the U.S. term, um, and it comes out of the uh, CFR, whereas dangerous goods is more of the international standard. Now, I will be trying to use the term dangerous goods as much as possible in this presentation, but generally speaking, for the purposes of our products and services, Hazmat and DG are roughly synonymous, talking about the same types of regulatory situations. There are many different types of products that fall into the category of dangerous goods. Some of them are very common, just stuff you'd find in your household. Um, oil, gasoline, paints, batteries, bleaches, insecticides, perfumes. Um, these all fall into the various category of dangerous goods, which are products that need to have special care, labeling, regulation, um, when they are put into transport. Why? Well, if you don't treat them correctly, then you could have bad incidents occur. These are explosive, they are flammable, they are uh, potentially uh, acute or chronic health hazards. These are substances that, if not treated properly, will cause a serious incident, and that is what we're trying to avoid. Now, like most regulatory systems, there are different ways of looking at this world. Um, HMRs have been around for, for nearly the longest of any of the chemical control requirements. And so you'll see different systems in different countries. So say, for example, uh, DOT here in the US versus TDG in Canada. Um, you will also see differences based on what is the mode of transportation. So not all transportation forms are created equal. So you will see differences in regulations for road, rail, air, ocean vessel, and inland waterway transport. Here's a just general list of all the types of dangerous goods or uh, transportation regulations you might encounter. Um, some of the ones you might be familiar with, uh, DOT, Department of Transportation, TDG, Transport of Dangerous Goods from Canada, um, but you'll see many countries, many different uh, areas have uh, important uh, regulatory systems that you have to be aware of. So, when you are in a transportation situation, there are a number of different ways that ChemAdvisor can help out. The first and probably the most simple way is straight up uh, consulting services. We can help answer your questions. We do have applications that we've built, uh, database products, that will allow you to help answer these questions on your own. And we have training services that will teach you how to approach these questions uh, if you don't know how to do that. So what type of determinations can we do uh, through these products and services? Well, the most basic is, is it a regulated material? And if so, what type of regulated material might we be dealing with? And then once you've identified that you're dealing with a regulated material, there's a whole host of questions you, can, you need to ask uh, about that material. What is the proper hazard class or division? What is its proper shipping name? What needs to go on my SDS associated with this material? What packaging or placarding is required? Um, some of these questions may be asked in a broader way. Um, am, is my dangerous goods program adequate to my needs? Am I taking the right steps? Is the dangerous goods program being implemented properly? Can you come in and audit it? And the most basic question of all is always, can you help me understand these regulations? Um, help bring your expertise to this discussion. 
Now, we have a process we use for these types of consulting services. Uh, the most basic is we provide an hourly rate. We tell you a certain number of dollars per hour. Um, if the project can be well defined, then we can talk about project pricing. In most cases, we're able to provide a uh, written quote. And you need to understand when you come to us with these sorts of projects, we are looking for detailed product information, including the exact product formulation, perhaps some shipment information, and so forth. For that reason, we are willing to sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, or your, your company may also refer to a confidential business information agreement, uh, CBI protection. Uh, this is stuff that Chem Advisor routinely enters into, and we'd be happy to discuss that with your organization. Now, in addition to the uh, service, we can provide the tools that Chem Advisor's experts use in conducting these evaluations. These include the Transportation Advisor database and the Lolly database, two database products which assist you in uh, getting these answers. Um, they are able to be accessed in a couple different ways. Chem Advisor Online allows you some options to uh, do pay-per-use payment. So if you have a small number of chemicals or materials you want to look at, uh, that might be an option. If you have a large number of uh, materials or you want to uh, join this information into an application you're building, you may want to look at the data feed or at our API. Um, there's some information there where you can access information on these products. You also might be familiar with our Chem Advisor Navigator. This is a uh, regular text description of the chemical regulatory systems in over 45 countries. Um, we are in the process of evaluating additional content for transportation to be included. Um, and we do have a trial version of Navigator that's available for you to access right now. To say a little bit about the Transportation Advisor database, this is a collection of transportation regulatory information organized by UN number or proper shipping name. This information is updated quarterly by our physical media or FTP delivery methods, and we have options for weekly delivery through our Chem Advisor Online and other delivery methods. Here's kind of a, a spill of the type of content that's available to support transportation regulations in our database products. If you're looking for a particular piece of uh, content, we would encourage you to reach out and contact Chem Advisor. Um, we'd be able to discuss the content you're interested in, uh, show you how to obtain access to it if it's available through our database products, or consider adding it if it's something we don't currently capture. Now, our training courses are regularly offered. Uh, we offer them here in our Pittsburgh office. Um, we can also do them online, or we can do them at a location of your choosing. And of course, on-site training can be customized to sp fit your specific needs. So our next uh, training course is uh, the DOT, Department of Transportation Training and Global Variances. It's scheduled for March 20th, 21st next year in our Pittsburgh office. And this is designed to satisfy the DOT's general awareness training. And here you can see a description of that course. And I'll point out the link at the bottom. Uh, just go to KevinVisor.com and look for our training tab. And you'll be able to navigate yourself to this course and be able to register. Part of the reason we have these database solutions um, and these services is that this information is not static. There are, there are constantly new regulations being developed and tweaks made to old regulations. And here I've asked um, our regulatory experts to point out some of the major ones that are coming. Uh, first, you'll see uh, coming up in just a couple of weeks a new hazard warning label for lithium batteries. There are some additional changes that are scheduled to be implemented in uh, January 2019. Uh, changing the wording from risk to replace that with hazard. Uh, in addition, some changes to the corrosivity criteria. 
and then a new entry in the DG list for lithium batteries. If you have any questions about this presentation or about our ability to support your transportation needs, um, I would encourage you to reach out and contact us. My name is Nathan Peters and I'm located in the Pittsburgh office. We can be reached at 412-847-2000 or always emailed at info, I-N-F-O, at chemavaja.com. And I've posted here our other locations in Europe and Asia as well as our website, chemadvisor.com.